So today I am going to be talking about a subject that is very dear and very, very close to my heart and that is eyebrows. Yes ladies, we are going to be talking about eyebrows. Now eyebrow game is definitely a real thing in my book, like eyebrows all the way, eyebrows all fully. I take pride in my eyebrow game and I get a lot of questions on how I do my eyebrows and a lot of compliments as well. Definitely in at school or on Instagram or on YouTube, I get tons of compliments on my eyebrows. So I thought I would show you guys how I maintain, shape, and do my eyebrows. So I'm showing you three steps which are very, very easy because, I mean, as much as I love makeup, I don't want to sit there and do my eyebrows for 20 minutes. So this is a very, very simple tutorial just on eyebrows. So I really hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in a bit. Now, depending on which way your eyebrow hair grow, you will definitely want to comb them that way. So for most girls, like myself, your eyebrow hair grows upwards. But for a lot of my Asian beauties, I know that your hair grows downwards. So that's not for all because I have a lot of Asian friends and they're like, Allegra, what are you talking about? But then I have a lot, of, a lot of other Asian friends and they're like, yep, my hair is grow down. So if you are have beautiful Asian eyebrows, then you can, you'll just definitely want to comb them down instead of up. Here I am just taking a clean spoolie where I am combing my eyebrow hairs up. Now for the brow hairs that are longer than most, once you comb them up, you're just going to want to take your nail scissors, I guess, or eyebrow scissors. I don't even know what the technical term is, but you're just going to want to trim the longer hair. So you're not going to want to trim any other hairs that are longer than your actual eyebrow hair. You will just want them to all match up and go in a straight line. Now, take your tweezers and start tweezing the hairs that are coming down from your brow bone to eyelid. Now, I have that a lot and I've always had that, that my eyebrows hair kind of go down here, which I just pluck and done that. Now, here's a quick tip for you guys. If you pluck your eyebrow hair the direction they grew it is gonna hurt way less you probably won't even feel it but there is this crazy skinny brow epidemic going around young ladies these days where girls are pulling and plucking and waxing their brows just to try and mimic the look of someone else's brows now I know a lot of us want Cara Delevingne brows I mean who doesn't I believe that everybody has their own unique and perfect eyebrows that are special for you and no one else can have your eyebrows, you can't have someone else's eyebrows, otherwise it will look really really weird and your eyebrows are for you and your eyebrows are unique for you. So you can definitely change up your eyebrows, you can do whatever you want, but I definitely recommend staying with your own shape that your eyebrows have grown because personally I have never ever had my eyebrows done by anybody else. And another thing going around with the girls is that once you pluck and you wax and you pull all your eyebrow hair out, you get this like skinny brow or even no brow. Now let me tell you that a skinny brow makes you look older and not in a good way. It will make you look old-ish. It will make you look like your mom. My mom actually has such nice brows, like it's not even funny. So whatever you do, please girls do not be a pluckaholic because your eyebrows aren't gonna like you for that. Now when it comes to filling in your brows, take your brush or your pencil or your eyeliner pencil or whatever. Now you're just gonna wanna take your eyebrow pencil and line it up on your dorsum and then at the very, going straight up from the dorsum, just leave a mark and that is where your eyebrow should start. Now going from the dorsum through the pupil to the arch is where your eyebrow should arch. And just mark that as well. And then from the nostril to the bottom of the lash line, go straight, and that is about where your eyebrow should end. Now my brow doesn't personally start there, so I always have to draw on a little bit more. 
Now because I do my eyebrows every day, I obviously don't need to do the dots and the marking every single day, but for beginners this is a good way of looking at it as connect the dots. So you're just going to want to draw a straight line from the beginning of the brow to the arch and then go on top and do the same exact step and then I go from the arch to the bottom tail of my brow, but I only do that on the top. I don't do it on the bottom because then it looks a bit too much. Now when it comes to filling in your eyebrows, if you are taking eyeshadow or if you're using a pencil, feather your eyebrows in, which means small little strokes, not lines and lines and lines because that becomes that becomes and looks really really fake. So I say small little strength strands and strokes to fill in your eyebrows. Now just either take your shadow or your pencil and just feather in the hair so it looks super natural. Now you can see the difference between my eyebrows. And then when it comes to using a brow gel, which I personally use Gimme Brow by Benefit and I use the darkest color because it goes with my eyebrows. But what you're going to first want to do is brush the Gimme Brow brush against the brow hair. So that way it kind of sticks more and another thing with Gimme Brow is that it claims to fill in like sparse areas and I have a lot of sparse areas. So if I so I normally brush it against the grain of my brow hair to just fill in the sparse areas and then I go over it and smooth it out so my brow looks pretty natural. And then of course I just spoolie it through and make everything look super natural. That is my brow routine. I don't want to say everyday brow routine, it's more like a weekly brow routine I guess. Now do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye!